right, guys. This will be uh, the second time that I shoot this. So hopefully I don't leave anything out because I forget what I've said or whatnot. But uh, So this is going to be a tutorial on how to add new assets to Rome 2 because I feel like the one out there is just outdated. All the images and all the links and all that stuff is missing. So I just figured this out yesterday and I thought I would uh, make an updated guide because it's always frustrating when you can't find the information. So anyway, this is the... Um, CA's version that they include in an assembly kit of their shield. So what I did is I brought in a shield and made it at the same positioning. Um, what I also want to do is show you guys, because I've already put a full model in, I was just doing a shield, and what I learned is that doing shields is different than doing armor. So, or like skin. So this is what, um, like, this is another uh, creative assembly asset that they've given us, and this is basically how you rig things otherwise. Got the skeleton in here. And um, I've done, here I'll show you that. Uh, dear Lord. I don't think this is going to be a rigged one. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. I was like, where in the world was I saving these files before? But, uh, so, this is what I've done in the past. You know, you've got to rig the stuff to fit, and, uh, like, helmets are super easy. But, so I split this model into parts, and you actually have to rig things with a skin modifier to the skeleton which I guess I won't be going over in this tutorial but at least you get a like a picture of what you're looking at here and uh, just I guess a side note would be that when you rig things you only need to rig them to the uh, BN section of all these and some of them aren't even used you'll get errors if you do like I think it's left nostril and like right ear left ear like I guess some of these aren't used um, that's gonna have to be touch and go I don't rig faces or I don't rig eyes because it's just so time-consuming and who's zooming in all the way to see if the eyes and the lips are moving but anyway let's get back to just this shield thing so it turns out rigging a shield is even easier um, you don't even have to like skin it or anything you just get it in this position and you make sure that you have four loads um, and that's pretty much it and then you export it but there are a few things that you do need to set up in max that is maybe different if you're coming from like me Shogun 2 you have to go to preferences viewports choose driver and you'll be on this thing you have to make sure that you have legacy direct 3d and um, then the next thing that you have to do is press M. This will bring up your material browser. Um, something that I was confused with when I first came back, or uh, stop, stop using 2010 Max for Shogun editing, is the difference between I had this slate material editor up, which is just overkill. You can get to the compact one by... Uh, by um, clicking the modes button. So what you would be looking at right now if you didn't have this all configured is this horribly shaded, like blank shaded uh, shield. And so what you have to do, am I down to one load? No, I need to delete these for simplicity's sake, I suppose. Um, so what you have to do is click standard and then go to the direct X uh, shader and can do whatever with that I guess that's weird maybe you don't keep whatever was there but then you go into here and in your assembly kit that you downloaded from CA you uh, find the shader file that they gave you and make sure you click that that'll open up a whole new list of options here and what you need to do is get your diffuse level all that good stuff on there and I made these in the last video so let's see if I can 
just pull this up in Photoshop. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it again for a guide because I guess a lot of people don't. Um, maybe there's none of my, you never find a ton of information about this part on here, so. Come on, there we go. So this is the diffuse. Now what you need to do is convert this DDS file into a TGA file. And I'll just do this in this folder instead of navigating to where I did this before. But you have to name this uh, whatever you want, underscore diffuse, okay? Now I don't know exactly what level and glosses are. I don't have any education on that, but I just kind of found a bullshit like rework around for this. So I kind of just messed with like uh, like level curves and kind of make them look like what I've seen other glosses and um, levels look like. And I actually haven't even checked if this is like I don't know. I'm just going off of memory here. And so then I would name this one shear level and then for gloss I see I don't even remember I think gloss is actually supposed to be brighter but uh, make it black and white basically already was um, I'll do something like this And then this is a plugin that you'll probably need. Uh, map filter converts it to a normal. Bump map. So these are how your textures need to be um, formatted and named. And once you've done that, then you come into here and you've got to apply them. Uh, desktop. Loss goes to smoothness, and level is what? Level is reflectiveness, I think, yeah. So, if anyone actually knows, like, how to make those texture files the right way and what exactly they even do, because I can never even really tell in-game, but, uh, so now that's all on there, and there is one more weird step that was just not very well documented and you have to go to rendering um, oh shit where did it even go hold on one second oh wow okay I figured it out I thought I was going crazy for a second there it's animations parameter editor change the top thing to selected objects material make sure you select the object change this to string then this to rigid mat oh, man, material now why this happens i don't know but ca loves having this you'll get an error with uh, bob when you process this if you don't have it and then for armor and all my other stuff i did weighted which is I'm not even entirely sure what all how these things come together but for a shield I've come to learn that you just do default and then you click add and this will put that on to here so you know you've got it after this you can close that out um, what you need to make sure is that you have four copies of this four loads so clone a copy not an instant instance make sure that you've only got this amount of zeros so it's all structured the same and if anyone knows how to get 3ds max to stop adding those extra zeros i forgot so that'd be cool if you could comment that down below but uh so now you've got your four with that export this is another thing that you need to get from the assembly kit is the plugin to export cs2 files and you would just name this CS2 file export and that will pretty much do it um, yeah 
similar process for the armor basically the same thing but having to rig it so hopefully this helps you guys and i'll be making a part two for this as well to show how to get the asset into the game